in the name of Jesus in those areas where there have been dryness I command angelic ministrations in the name of Jesus ha, angels begin to open up the gates begin to open up the gates right now open up I see 9th September in the spirit that is less than two months from today God is saying I am going to do something in your life Balataya, Jenata will surprise you. I see someone amazed. Hello, everybody. Good evening. Good evening. Yeah, welcome to another time of prayer. This is Saturday. 10 p.m. GMT plus one, and we are here once again to um interact with divinity. We are here once again to fellowship with our Father. We are here once again to legislate and you know bring in the hand of God or the word of God into our lives. The manifestation of the word of God in our lives is what we are always you know interceding for. The scripture will say that the heavens even the heaven of heavens belongs to the father the heaven of the, the the heavens belong to god but the earth has he given to the sons of men that is psalm chapter 115 verse 16 it means that god is in control of the heavenly you know um, um but when it comes to the affairs of the earth he has handed it over to men so whatever we approve is approved whatsoever we reject is rejected whatsoever we legislate is what is made manifest do you understand so little one that jesus would say when he when he came and he was teaching the mother prayer he says pray let your will be done on earth as it is in heaven it means that when it comes to the affairs of heaven you know god is in control any any for example any um any disobedience is judged uh, any um rebellion is immediately judged uh, you know when the devil rebelled in heaven he was cast down immediately so when it comes to the to the heavenly realms god is in charge he does not need a man to intercede before something is done in heaven do you understand but when it comes to earth it, it he requires a man to come into alignment with him in order to you know make sure that his word is made manifest so when he created the earth in genesis chapter 1 he handed it over to a governor he handed it over to adam to man and then from that point onwards you know man had the duty to to have you know to take charge you know to um, um have dominion over the earth do you understand so this is the reason we pray so that in our lives in our sphere in our territory you know the will of god the mandate of god is made manifest expressly you know we are not um willing to give the devil any place in our lives we are not ready to give the devil any any um any footing in our life we are saying that in our lives we are making sure that the word of the lord they can of the Lord is what will prevail in our lives and tonight we have come before the Father and we are assured that you know we have come before the one that answers prayer you know the psalmist will say uh, to him that answers prayer all flesh gather so we know that once we gather before the father we are coming to petition the one uh, uh, the one that answers prayer we have not come to petition a god that is not um, um, um that does not hear we have not come to petition a, a god that is not touched with the feeling of our um, weaknesses uh, we have come uh, to our a great high priest uh, he is called our high priest because he's able to he is touched with the feelings of our infirmities and um, oh jesus we thank you can you just lift up your voice right now and begin to worship the lord begin to give him the praise uh, because he has gathered he has gathered us tonight uh, you know to to you know uh to bring us into the thing that he is doing in this season uh, can we say lord will bless you uh, we bless your name open up your mouth right now uh, and let worship flow um, let, oh, let your incense rise uh, from the your innermost being uh, let it rise from your altar and ascend to the heavenly uh, and ascend to the one that is 
seated upon the throne. He says, Offer the sacrifice of praise, offer the fruit of your lips. It does not say offer your complaints, it does not say offer your grumblings. He says, Offer the sacrifice of praise. Let that sacrifice of praise rise like an incense, a sweet smelling sevo. Jesus, we worship you. You are our great high priest. You are the King of all kings and the Lord of all lords. Who is like unto you? There is no one like our Father. There is none like you are. Uh. There is none like you are. Uh. You are Yeshua Hamashiach. You are God our Savior. You are Jesus our Savior. You are Savior. You are Savior. Oh Jata, you are mighty to save. We have seen your saving dimension made manifest in our lives. Made manifest in our families. Oh Jenemeno Kumbri Sono Kobeleta. Oh Resono for those times uh, uh, that you came in uh, and you saved the situation, uh, Lord will say thank you. Uh, you are our man of war. You are the Lord of hosts. Uh, Jehovah Sabot. Uh, you are our Ebenezer. You are the one that has been our helper. You are the one that you have been providing for us. Uh, you are Jehovah. Jehovah Jireh, Resaido Kobaha, Elequatas Kabalaba, Epalakwasenaba, Elon Paragato, you are Jehovah Nisia, O Resokopakaya. Tante mene kabalati eso valata mene manakaya ta ya elem barakato shanati obrena pa ha resio talia you are our shepherd ela rusiete mama masuse kapaha lenonsia ta ha marakato la parante le kaya lambreto stabalata you are Jehovah Ruhi you are the Lord our shepherd ha a soila ba rakatia ha ma ba 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 ha ela tata balata we have experienced your your different dimensions uh, balance uh, Lord and we worship you uh, we give you the praise uh, we give you the glory uh, in the name of Jesus we have worshipped uh, you know we'll still continue in that line for some minutes uh, but let me read a scripture which is where we will draw our our prayer um 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 points from you know for tonight's prayer you know the the lord was saying that i will do a new thing and it's in the book of isaiah chapter 43 and i will start reading from verse and uh, from verse 15 you know the place we are going to is verse 19 right yeah it's verse 19 so but i'll read from verse 15 we'll see the place of thanksgiving and then we'll go into um legislation so isaiah chapter 43 from verse 15 it says i am the lord your holy one the creator of israel your king so god begins to introduce himself before before he gives you before he puts forth his word to you he introduces himself so that you can know who is talking so that in your in your consciousness you begin to um be conscious of the uh, of how mighty god is so god began and he started and said this is what the lord says you know before that he introduced i said i am the lord your holy one the creator of israel your king i am the one talking he said now verse 16 he said this is what the lord says he <laughs> and the lord has not finished though he was about to say something but he began to he, 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 you know point them back to to you know the things he has done in the past now he says he who makes a way through the sea he was refreshing their memory he who makes a path through the mighty waters he was refreshing their memory and he who brings out the chariot the chariot and the horse the army and the mighty warrior they will lie down together they will not rise again they have been extinguished they have been put out like a lamb's wick so god began to call their mind back to what happened at the red sea i believe you know where he parted the red sea he made a way in the sea he made a, a, a way in the 
spoke in the mighty waters he brought out the is uh, the um egyptian their their chariot their horsemen and everything and he made them to lie down he made the sea to overrun them so he made them to you know to drown in that mighty ocean and he began to remind the israelites i am calling you to remember my faithfulness in times past do you understand because most times what happens is that in the present you know um, i'm based on the circumstance or the situation that you are passing through in the present times you forget the faithfulness of god in the past do you understand and once you forget god's faithfulness you lose the strength to even face the the um the battle of today so what gives one of the things that gives us strength for the battles of today is remembering the faithfulness of god in the past so you are like oh god saw me through this situation it was god that delivered me it was god that did that for me it was god that delivered me from that accident it was god that helped me i i i was operated down and you know it was successful it was god that did this one it was god that provided this money it was god that drew me out of this pit it was god that did this it was god that saved my marriage it was god that uh um, um gave me children it was god that um, um provided the spouse for me it was god that um, took me through my academic journey it was god that gave me this job it was god that gave me this promotion it was god that did this it was god that did that so when you begin to cast your mind back you know to the faithfulness of god you are able to get the strength you need to face the battle of today and to even receive god's word so in the next two minutes i want you to be intentional what are those things that god has done for you in the past what are those things that he has done for you in the past i want you to begin to you know give him the praise he says i am the lord your god remember the red sea remember how i parted the sea for you remember how i brought the egyptians into that sea and over ran them with the waters can you begin to say lord i remember lord i remember and i give you the praise uh-huh. i remember and i give you the glory shania soleprenia resunie kepele nonsia vinidinge tonia kayadesia lebrenin sole preti kivili antosieteya mereshie kapalia rusie pretie veletaya enkuns entene marano shakalia brin sombre ne kipiri asuvreteya mene nen sole kralia sozofretia kelemon shataya di antosia en Nemene kepele taya, I remember resolo koprini veleteya. Nemene kaya, I remember Lord and I worship you in the name of Jesus. We have worshipped, and now the Lord began to uh, move on. He says, "Do not remember the former things or ponder down the things of the past." Verse nineteen says, "Listen carefully. I am about to do a new thing. Now it will spring forth. Will you not be aware of it?" I will even put a road in the wilderness, rivers in the desert. So we'll be praying from this point, with from this um, verse, three prayer points. The first is that he said, listen carefully, I am about to do a new thing. Now it will spring forth. Now it will spring forth. Now it will spring forth. So there is the promise of God to you. There is the word of God to you. God is saying it is going to spring forth now. So we'll be praying, Lord, that thing, that new thing that you are doing, that you are planning, that you have planned for me. Say the plans I have for you, they are plans of good and not of evil to give you a future and a hope, to bring you to an expected end. There is an expected end for your life. That circumstance is not the end. There is an expected end. Say for surely there is an end. You understand surely there is an end <laughs> and the expectation of the righteous shall not be cut, for, cut, cut, cut off so if what you are seeing is not your expectation then it is not the end do you understand so you'll be declaring lord that word that promise he said now it is springing forth let it begin to spring forth in my life go ahead and begin to pray the new thing that god is 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 you know you know is bringing into your life say let it spring forth now lord i declare it begins to spring forth it begins to spring forth it comes speedily it comes speedily it springs forth Lord, 
Sika Pelena is springs forth aboromte and the mansia combri di vreco paradia zove regalieto no malayate imama cubele non ziatea and recutule le combri du ravelletie cubalayante and lomparam de copende fenecaia don zebelata me men non zi zigi pio and stabile fenataya mene men den stabiliteya and le baru feria sombretia veletoha me monko velata is springs forth speedily ha rokoto pekayada and le non stabiliteya ha and le bene candons gebede bara vidi kapaha is springs forth speedily ha bara siete gete kayanto siye velataya in the name of Jesus right now I want you you know immediately we began to make this prayer i saw the devil and you know his hand was upon you know was it was as if it was he was closing something and as we began to pray his hands began to lift and he was vanquished now, can you begin to declare every covering every everywhere that the enemy has come into my life to shut out what god is doing and what god wants to do right now i resist to devil according to this revelation you are vanquished now, in the name of jesus and i put my signature or upon this revelation and i say in my life right now you devil i command you out now in the name of jesus i declare you have no hold in my life you have no hold in my in my family you have no hold in my marriage you have no hold over my children in the name of jesus i declare caban theater say resist the devil and he will flee and right now can you begin to resist the oppression of darkness the oppression of the, of the devil over your life in the name of Jesus men the suse kapaha men the non se kabalatea resia lift up your voice e kope kwasidaba me rekopalatos he has no legal right you are the child of God you have been redeemed from your tongue you have been redeemed from your tribe marasose kapaha out of the people you have been called made kings and priests unto God Oh, we have been called out. Men the belle suze kabarana resole kabalataya etoko papa papa. And we stand upon the name of Jesus. We stand and we resist the influence of the enemy in our lives. And the paragados. No more in the name of Jesus. We declare that the word of the Lord stands. The word of the Lord stands sure in our lives. The word of the Lord stands sure in our ministries uh, in the name of jesus we have prayed uh, going further in that scripture he says uh, we will not be aware of it said i will even put a road in the wilderness so that wilderness that place that you are currently in it seems that there is there is no road a place of confusion a place you don't even know how to come out of that circumstance you are in that wilderness you are in that place of dryness you are in that place of confusion now he says in the beginning god created the heavens and the earth and the earth uh, 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 was void it was formless he said it was like a wilderness a, a a land expanse of nothingness and then god said let there be light so even if your situation is like a wasteland god is saying i'm going to make a way and that way is where you know we is going to bring you out of that confusion is going to bring you out of that situation is going to bring you out of that circumstance say i have made a way in the wilderness so our prayer right now is god open my eyes up to the way you have made that to the road say i will put a road in the wilderness oh jekaya can you begin to declare i am coming out oh my eyes are enlightened i know what to do waha meresia regardless of whatever the circumstance is there is a knowledge God is going to supply you. Uh, that is what he's saying. Uh, he said, I will supply a wisdom to you. Uh, I will supply a knowledge to you uh, that will serve as a road for you to step out of that circumstance. Uh, right now, it may be a financial circumstance. Uh, a lasiata, Lord wisdom. Uh, you may be parenting. Uh, can you say, Lord wisdom? Uh, let the road spring forth in the wilderness. Uh, it may be in that business Lord 
Open my eyes. Open my eyes. Let the road. Marasie kabala balata ya kata baka baka taya. Bekete baka baka balata ya. Baras kepele takaba. Membes kabarata ya. May I not miss my day of visitation. Res kata ba. Mele kabaran takabala ta. Esai no babarada. Raka baba baba ba. Esai no balata ya. Baratas kabala ta ya. Baba baba baba. I am not blind. I see. I see the road. I see the wisdom. I have the wisdom. I receive the knowledge that will bring me out of the current Peter, out of the current wilderness. In the name of Jesus. Finally, you know, like we all know, you know, this prayer is not um is just to launch us into the into this um, um, um prayer topic so um we can continue to legislate using these understandings even after the prayer ends do you understand so um there may not be time to engage for a long time over each prayer point do you understand so you have to take the the understanding that god is bringing and go with it and legislate with it see the holy ghost says yeah it is done do you understand so finally the the last phrase he said are we even put a road in the wilderness then rivers in the desert rivers in the desert so those areas of dryness those areas of dryness god is saying i am causing waters to spring forth out of your desert yeah yeah so those things you've been doing kabarana shataya those things you've been doing that have not been producing as much as you would love it to God is saying, I'm going to cause it to produce. <laughs> I am going to cause it to produce. Kayada balataya daha. Ah, jenemene paranashia taha. I see 9th September in the spirit. Shere suse vreteya ha. Je kayante ne maranashia telebara vide suse preta varataya ha. Menenensia, that is less than two months from today. God is saying, I am going to do something in your life. Ha. Resuse le peredi fresie kabalataya. Jenada will surprise you. I see someone amazed that. I see someone surprised that God is saying, I will do something that would amaze you. Can you go ahead and begin to pray and say, Lord, cause waters huh, in my desert, huh, those areas of dryness, huh, those things I've been doing that have not been fruitful, and that have not even maybe they have been bearing fruit uh, but not as much as God intends uh. can you say Lord let your hand come upon those areas uh, in the name of Jesus right now waters are coming to my desert uh. waters are coming to those areas that have been dry uh. in the name of Jesus Masaida Kaba Medeskabelete Kabarada Resaida Kabalana Ensaida Kababakaya Entoskabeleteba Reskabelotaya Thikobaha Mamaskabrika Barasia Kabalana Kaya etoko barafir antesko balataya en saka baba baba ba ma baba 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 ba en la baram to koboro da vanana rasya da en la kwada baranaka baras ko baram da kabarata sko balataya en da saida ba barada sabaradaya barada sabaradaya barada sabaradaya babaram da rabarada bar ant sabarada rabada kadana mashadaya rakata baba 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 ba en da so to kobarana ras ko baram de 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 can you just lift up your hands wherever you are right now i release the ministry of angels in your life in the name of jesus <laughs> i am releasing my word you know the angels that god has sent to me to minister for me now i give them all that to come to you and minister to you in the name of jesus in those areas where there have been dryness i command angelic ministrations in the name of jesus huh? angels begin to open up the gates begin to open up the gates right now open up the gates open up the gates open up those gates that have been shut right now angels push them open they open up 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 right now in the name of oh barakatea you want oh mere susia talada men you are not shut you are not shut off you are not shut off ah resunia your gates are open kings are coming to you ah resusi e gabalata men your light shines forth 
your light shines forth your light shines forth in the name of jesus your light shines forth in the name of jesus kings come to you uh, your gates are open uh, your gates are not closed uh, your gates are open uh, meresus ekaya menoshia kabala nasia ha nemene kaya dabara nasia ha ah this day the word of the lord is performed unto you in the name of jesus we have prayed amen and amen um god bless you for joining tonight's prayer um we believe that you've been blessed and thank you see you next week saturday for another time of prayer god bless you and do have a lovely night rest bye mm-hmm. 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 Mm-hmm.